A hole in the fence is just a hole in the fence unless it leads to active train tracks, just like what you see here. This man is walking on a set of active tracks that many people use to get to the Richmond station. These tracks are very busy with Union Pacific trains which whiz by fairly fast even though they are pulling several dozen cars. Also, Amtrak trains roll along these rails, so walking on these tracks alone is taking your life into your own hands. So, toss in a set of BART tracks and its third electrified rail? Wait, no one will cross BART tracks, will they? Well, see this shirt wrapped around the barbed wire? That is an entry and exit point for people who actually cross the BART tracks. I'm not making this up. They cross multiple sets of BART tracks, along with multiple sets of these tracks, just to save a few minutes. BART has a eight foot fence with barbed wires along the entire length of the tracks with high voltage warning signs, but people still scale the fence and cross. You can see places where the fence has been bent and damaged from people scaling the fence at different parts along the route. You know, I really can't say they are too lazy to walk around because to climb two fences, avoid the third rail and cross even more tracks takes a lot of energy. If only they could use all that energy to get some common sense. Or am I asking for too much? In Richmond, Stanley Roberts, Cron 4 News.